Making observations is an essential step in the scientific process. An initial observation may prompt an important question. Observations are the foundation of testing hypothesis. Recording and analyzing observations is an essential step in any science lab or field experiment, whether in chemistry, biology, and physics. In this video, we'll explore the differences between recording and analyzing qualitative and quantitative observations. Scientists make observations to collect data. The data in turn allows scientists to draw conclusions about an experiment and sometimes to develop additional hypotheses or theories. Sometimes even the smallest observations may prove to be vital. A seemingly insignificant observation can lead the experimenter to challenge an assumption or can indicate a previously unaccounted for variable. Scientists need to account for all observations to draw correct conclusions from the results of an experiment. An experimenter can make two main kinds of observations, qualitative and quantitative. Let's start with qualitative observations. These kinds of observations are those that you make with your five senses, sight, smell, sound, touch, and taste. Unless a taste test is part of the experiment, taste is not generally used for observation. Likewise, a good experimenter will take care when using smell to avoid breathing noxious fumes. Touch should be avoided if chemicals or heat is used, but it can be useful for some observations. Typically, sight and sound are the most useful senses for qualitative observations. But again, precautions may be needed when observing certain experiments, such as chemical reactions. Qualitative observations use descriptive words, such as whether a substance is warm, cold, rough, smooth, and so on. These tools are used to obtain numerical data by making accurate and precise measurements during an experiment. Any device that is used to make a measurement during an experiment is generating a quantitative observation. Consider each of the following observations. Are they qualitative or quantitative? The chemical reaction produced a blue color. The metal sample had a mass of 12 grams. When the chemicals were mixed, they produced a whoosh sound. Exactly 45 milliliters of base was required to completely neutralize the acid. When recording any type of observation, it is important to use a dedicated lab notebook so that all of your information remains in the same place. It is also important to write only in pen so that data cannot be erased, only crossed out. Observations should be recorded while the experiment is being conducted, not after the experiment is completed. This will ensure that the information written down is current and as accurate as possible. There should be enough information written down so that another person, unfamiliar with the experiment, could easily replicate the experiment from your notes and observations. When recording information in your lab notebook, it is often helpful to take raw data and observations and organize them into tables or graphs. This allows for easier interpretation of data and drawing of conclusions. Now that you understand the difference between qualitative and quantitative observations, be sure to apply your understanding when you conduct investigations, particularly when collecting data. Correct recording and analysis of observations will help you to draw valid conclusions based on your results.